Hi, I'm Ryan here at Jacobs Trading, and I'm going to tell you the difference between rocks, minerals, and crystals today. All right, so we're going to start with the very basic building blocks. This is an element. This is copper. It is the basis of all matter and life in the universe. Not specifically copper, but elements in general. You can't break them down any further. They are the starting point. Elements we have here are your basic building blocks, and they, in the right order, turn into minerals. Minerals are a non-organic, non-living, and has never lived, uh, material that is made up of a specific pattern of elements. For instance, this is quartz, the mineral version, and this one is made up of silicon and oxygen. And that's it. There's nothing else in it, and it's just silicon and oxygen. Now, when minerals get together, you get rocks. Rocks are a mass of minerals. So when you're talking about them, this is a chunk of granite. It has three different, usually diff three different minerals in it, feldspar, quartz, and mica, um, and it is a mass of minerals. There's no real pattern to them. There's no real anything about them. It's just a mass of minerals. So one of the big questions that I get all the time is people coming in and looking for crystals. And there's a problem with just coming into a rock store and asking for a crystal, because what most people think are crystals are your quartz. Well, the actual um, definition of a crystal is a specific repeating pattern of a mineral. So most minerals actually form crystals. So you can see here um, in the shot that we have a quartz crystal, a ruby crystal, which is that neat hexagonal shape, a pyrite cube, that's the crystal formation of pyrite, and a bismuth crystal. And then this guy, little down, guy down here is a magnetite or a lodestone crystal. And each of these stones has a crystal formation where the mineral repeats itself. So when you're looking at quartz, so this one here is your mass quartz and this is your crystal quartz. And the reason why you get this difference in shape is this one does not have a repeating mineral pattern. So the mineral, the silicon dioxide, does not repeat itself in the way that this one does. And under the right conditions, in heat, pressure, uh, surrounding stone, the quartz will actually align itself and it will grow in this crystal point. So as you can see here, we have two different minerals. We have pyrite here and lodestone or magnetite here. And each of these grow crystals in different ways. So the magnetite here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is a octohedron. So it's an eight-sided eight shape. Um, and under the right conditions, that is the shape that magnetite will grow in. Whereas pyrite will grow in a cubical structure. So if you get a really, really nice one, it looks like a D6 or six-sided dice. As you can see, these are two pieces of quartz. The one here, which is 12-sided, has actually been cut and polished into the shape. So it is not a crystal. It is a mineral, um, whereas this one here, as we've already gone over, is a crystal. And one way you can tell whether or not a quartz or anything has been cut and polished is by running your finger on it. If you run your finger on it and you feel any kind of texture, um, usually that will mean that it is uncut and unpolished. Whereas this has no texture and looks like a pane of glass. Usually that indicates that it's been cut and polished into that shape. All right, so in summary, uh, elements are your basic building blocks. Uh, minerals are a combination of elements. Uh, rocks are a combination of minerals and crystals are a specific form of minerals. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button. If you don't like it, well, subscribe anyway. And I uh, hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.